10 things I do when I transplant tomato plants. And my supervisor is out again to make sure I do a good job. One, putting natural wood mulch in the bottom of each container saves money on soil. Two, trim lower leaves and branches and bury the plants deep in the pot. This will allow more roots to sprout along the buried stem. This will result in a sturdier plant. I don't bother to loosen the roots first unless the plant is actually root bound. Number three, label them. A month from now, there's no way that I'm going to be able to tell a sun gold from a chocolate sprinkle. Number four, companion plant by adding plants like the basil I have here and the nasturtium that I used in the video yesterday. These will provide some natural protection against certain pests. Five, I love using terracotta watering spikes to keep the soil moist. They work like Oyas, but are the perfect size for big pots and grow bags. They fit wine bottles or beer bottles filled with water and they will keep your container garden from drying out all season long. You can find them on my Amazon storefront. Number six, pinch off any blooms because we want the plant to focus on root development right now. Seven, utilize the growing space. I have found that carrots grow really well around the perimeter of larger pots and grow bags. Eight, I've been using Easy Straw as a surface mulch to keep the water from evaporating and inhibiting some weeds while allowing the carrot sprouts to come through. Number nine, garden spikes for extra support, especially on windy days. And 10, garden clips. They're easy to move as needed throughout the season. Add any more tips in the comments. Happy growing.